Bori in serious wahala as UN takes the lead to divide Nigeria after election. All right, my people, we greet you all this very morning. This is the Lord TV. Yes, uh, one by one, little by little, um, we'll be getting to the uh, to the end point of all this that has been um, affecting us in this very country. Now, wa Nigeria. Now we are with the go. Um, the UN, the UN, the UN. What the UN is actually trying to do is to make sure that this unnecessary crisis that we are facing is no longer uh, is is no longer occurring. Um, will you blame the UN um, in doing what they are doing? Will you? Of course, you will not, because even they themselves they have really tried. They have tried. They have tried to put President Mubari a right. They have tried to, you know, reposition him and make him to understand the importance of um, of of putting things in place. But Bari is a very headstrong person. He's not the type that pays attention. He's not the type that is welcoming. You know, he always believes on himself. You know, you know, if it is not his opinion, it can never be anybody's opinion he believes and in his own opinion and um, you know executes it the way he wants it to be why why are you having advisors so if the un say okay um this is what they want to do okay good i'm fine do you understand unlike the issue of unam dekano you everybody nobody that will say they are not aware of the position of the un on the issue of unam dekano is it only the UN? What about the EU? What, are, what about the UNPO? They, they have tried their best. But we have a president that doesn't listen. That doesn't listen. Let's check the content, my dear listeners. This is morning news. Quite disappointing as the UN has taken the lead to the division of Nigeria immediately after the election. The UN has looked into the differences and issues that has been going on in Nigeria and make sure that it brings it to an end. The killing and kidnapping of innocent people and also the ravaging of different communities because of the issue of terrorism will be a thing of the past. The United Nations Secretary have said that President Mopari has put up a lacadistic attitude, ignoring these communities, paying attention to the unnecessary and making sure that things doesn't go as expected. The UN have promised to take things in their own way and make sure that the people of the country are placed in a fitting position. We are tired of hearing the people's complain making reference to the indigenous people of Biafra and Ipo, a group fighting for the Republic of Biafra. The United Nations have said that Bari is not doing anything to help salvage the situation. A country fights for a republic when they are not satisfied with the administration and the system of power. Nigeria is a populous country and so deserve a proper attention we are willing and ready um, to make sure that nigerian get a befitting support president mobari must have to concur to the decision of the united nations and make sure that all that has been concluded and agreed have put in place they claimed that is good you see they have known Buari already mm -hmm. they have known him so you will not blame them they are acting based on experience. They are acting based on what they know. Based on what they know. If Wari has been uh, has been doing as instructed, I bet you these people wouldn't have taken the lead. Why? And what do you mean by taking the lead? The lead? Taking the forefront. Taking the forefront. And that is what Wari actually asked for. You know, someone was saying it that Bari is not educated enough. Because if he is educated enough, he will know the position of the United Nations. He will understand that the UN 
is not just a nation. You understand? So it's not educated enough. So um, my people, I think it's not a mistake. It's, it's not regrettable. But it is a reality that should, in fact, come to pass. Because we have really heard enough from Mr. President. So if it happened today, it is no wickedness. Hmm? Yes. Because a lot of persons will start saying, eh, look at, they have started, they have done it because not them, them. Wait and be them, them. When, when you are talking about the UN, in fact, in the UN, we have more of the Islamics. We have more of the Fulanese in the UN. Yes. But because of, uh, uh, because of the future, do you understand? So that is why. So my dear listeners, I tell you, um, it's very important. Okay, let's quickly hear from you and let's know what's your take and what's your own opinion on all that has just been reviewed um, concerning um, the division of Nigeria. In fact, it's becoming too alarming. <laughs> yeah, it is. Don't forget to click on the red subscribe buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.